It's time for high school sports on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast of high school sports on the NCW Life Channel is presented by Alignment Pros, Auto Mocha, Color FX, Global Car Care, One Way Construction, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Biosports Physical Therapy, and the Windmill Restaurant. Now let's go live for all the action for tonight's coverage of high school sports on your home for local sports, the NCW Life Channel. Good evening, basketball fans. Welcome to the NCW Life Channel's live coverage of a non-league tilt tonight, our first basketball game of the 2018-19 season as the Eastmont Wildcats take on the Cashmere Bulldogs. Cashmere has had one game so far this week earlier. They were able to knock off the Enniot Tigers at home. This will be their second clash. Meanwhile, for Eastmont, they had a red and blue scrimmage here earlier this week. That's been it so far. Under their new head coach, we welcome George Juarez. George is the brother of Eli Juarez, the former longtime coach at Wenatchee High School. So he comes from a long line of uh, basketball uh, coaching. He most recently was with the Othello School District. He's a retired administrator. He's a retired teacher. Basketball is what he's focusing in on now, and he hopes to turn around the fortunes of Eastmont that only won four games a season ago. Meanwhile, for the Cashmere Bulldogs and their head coach, Levi Hine, he's trying to replace a couple of very talented seniors that graduated away last year in Tyler Kurt and Noah Phillips. They provided 65% of the offense for Cashmere, but they're going to turn to a bunch of sophomores to try to get the job done, including the twins, Nate and uh, Sam Phillips. They'll be in the starting lineup here tonight for Coach Levi Hine. It is the Cashmere Bulldogs and the Eastmont Wildcats coming your way next from Eastmont High School on the NCW Life Channel. Hey everyone, did you know that the NCW Life Channel is North Central Washington's go-to source for news? No matter how you prefer to view your news, NCW Life has you covered. Watch the evening news weeknights on TV, stream it, read it at ncwlife.com, or catch the latest news by following us on Facebook. Stay informed with local news, sports, weather, and shows featuring local people and events. NCW Life, a reflection and a spotlight of the communities we call home. Free game show continues here on the NCW Life Channel. Now visiting with the uh, new Eastmont head coach, George Juarez. And I inadvertently said that he was Eli's brother. No, Eli is his brother. <laughs> well, Coach, uh, first of all, welcome. You know, thank you very much. I'm so, so happy to be here. It's unbelievable. Let's talk about that. You got hired last spring, so you had a chance to kind of, uh, I'm sure, work with the kids over the summer. Tell me about the progression to this point. Yeah. You know, that was one of the great things about being hired early because what happens is I had an opportunity to, to work with them this summer. We had some structured gyms where I was very specific in terms of the drills I needed to teach so that when I got into this season, I don't have to reteach that. So that was one advantage. And again, they got to uh, learn a little bit about me in terms of how I coach during tournaments in the summer. But uh, what I try to do is just introduce all our drills and, and our basic offenses at that point. Now, obviously, your brother's coaching at Davis. Yeah. Uh, I don't, do you watch film of what these kids were doing last year and kind of, I mean, you have your own system, but how do you go with, okay, here's the talent pool I have to work from? You know, one of the things that I, I was, uh, that I was given was the huddle program and all our games from last year are there. So like before this game, I went ahead and, and viewed that tape just to see how they had done what we did, didn't do. Uh, but one of the advantages I had was I was retired. Okay. So I came to like, seven or eight of their games last year so i got to know the kids in fact when i was interviewed and, and one of the sections dealt with uh, running them through some drills i actually called them by their first names and they were like oh so anyway i, I do know the kids quite a bit and what they can and can't do and we're working to become better i know you've got a key player that's injured uh, coming off the football season but uh, you look at your roster you got a lot of height coach so you gotta love that i, I do you know um we still have things to learn about the style of play that we want to play but I am a little bit disappointed that Preston can't be with us. He's a number one. He's a great kid, 
And uh, aside from the fact that every day he says, hey, I, I, I've been cleared, I said, sure, sure. <laughs> but he's looking forward to coming back, and I'm looking for him forward to coming back. And, uh, and again, I do have fair height, like you mentioned. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Well, best of luck here, and, and again, welcome, George. Thank you, and I'm glad to be here. There you go. George Juarez, the new head coach for the East Blount Wildcats. We'll come back and talk to Levi Hyen at Cashmere. All the way next as the pregame show continues on the NCW Life Channel. The pros, alignment pros. When your vehicle needs brakes, shocks, struts, or alignment, choose the experts in their field. Alignment pros and Express Lube with a five star rating. The work they perform on your vehicle is as impeccable as their shop. With state of the art equipment, alignment pros can handle all large or small vehicles. Specialty cars lifted or lowered, alignment pros does them all. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube in East Wenatchee. Hi, I'm Kevin Prosser, and this is my print shop, Color Effects in Cashmere. Color Effects offers screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing on t shirts, jerseys, bags, banners, signs, and more. With 30 years' experience, you won't be disappointed with the quality and quick turnaround times you will get at more than a fair price. Please call Color FX. Free game show continues on the NCW Life Channel, getting ready for Cashmere and Eastmont tonight. And Levi Hyen joining us now. Levi, you guys had a chance to play earlier this week against Afredi. Tough game, high scoring game. Uh, how did you feel coming out of that one? I feel great with that win. You know, we, we played them three times this summer. They got us all three times. Very talented team, a lot of great bigs, really good guards. Uh, and I think they led probably 70, 80% of the game. So I was really proud of the win and very excited to come away with that victory. Our kids really stepped up in the second half. We struggled first half, only scored 28 points, able to get 51 in the second half, just get, getting up and down, hit some shots. You know, we shot more threes than I've ever shot that I've ever seen as a coach. Um, didn't make a whole lot of them, but you know, hopefully we'll make a few more. We like this gym, so hopefully we'll shoot a little better tonight. That, that's kind of the NBA uh, theme right now anyway, so three-pointers. Um, you graduate a couple of really talented kids off of last year's team. How do you reload after that? Well, luckily, one of our first team all leaguers graduated left me two twin brothers, so that's going to help us a lot. Sam and Nate Phillips. Uh, Sam was a second team all leaguer last year, and then Mason Landek, who's played with those guys. Uh, I coached his older brothers when we went to state last time, and, and he's back, and he's really fun to watch. I mean, he's very quick, really a dynamic player. I mean, he can do everything, and so uh, we're really excited. So we're not as big, you know, Tyler, Kurt, and Noah Phillips, and we had three other seniors. These guys were bigger bodies, and they got a lot of rebounds. So we struggle on the rebounds right now just because we're used to having big boys get them for us. Um, last year, we had those two great players. This year, I think we're more balanced, and we're a lot faster. We're not as big and strong, but we're quick, and we can shoot. So we're going to try to speed the game up, get more possessions, and, yeah, we're going to let it fly. Well, and you love this 1A versus a 4A school. I mean, if, if you guys play well, even if you lose, that's still good good for you guys. Well, sure, but it's a great matchup for us. You know, it's close to home for one. We have a lot of road trips. and uh, But, yeah, we like to play up. And when I tell AD, we'll play anyone anywhere. Not cocky, but it's like, let's try to get better. We have a lot of non-league games because our league is so difficult. You know, Schlan's really good this year. Okanagan and OMAC uh, have a lot of returning starters. Uh, Breaker is probably the best there is as far as coaching in this league and gets his kids prepared and ready to go, and they're better too. So we need to prepare and get ready for those battles uh, with some tough non-league games. Win or lose, hopefully we're learning from them, but it's more fun to lose or to learn from a win than from a loss. But Absolutely. Well, best of luck tonight. Keep everybody healthy, most important. That's the goal, yeah. They survive football, so basketball is nothing, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Levi Hyen joining us here on the pregame show. We'll have the opening tip and your starting lineups next on the NCW Life Channel. What's your auto mocha emergency? It's a Frappita mocha with whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the mocha Frappitas. A peach Red Bull. When you call Dix Heating and Air Conditioning, you get 35 years of experience and customer service in the Wenatchee Valley. Dick's friendly staff strongly believe in repairing before replacing and service all major brands of HVAC units. Dix Heating and Air Conditioning is your local independent trained comfort specialists 
proudly serving all of North Central Washington. Call 884-6444 today. Welcome back once again to Eastmont High School as we get ready for this matchup between the Bulldogs and the Wildcats. Let's get a look at the lineups here real quickly here. First for the Casimir Bulldogs, the announced by Levi High and Sam Phillips, Nate Phillips, Mason Landek, Brooks Elliott, and Sam Dotson will be the starters. Reed Smith, Ty Schoening, Huber Farias, and Carter Alberts are the reserves. Meanwhile, for the East Point Wildcats, as announced by their head coach, George Juarez, getting the start, Oscar Calvillo, Trey Haberlock, Isaac Wellborn, Tanner Nelson, and Kaylor Cannon. The reserves for the Wildcats here, Kalen Massey, Braden West, Jack Feeney, Angel Lopez, Lane Keller, and Nick Bauman. First game of the season for Eastmont, second game of the season for Kashmir, and we are just about ready for the National Anthem. So we will do that and come back after this 90-second timeout, get you ready for the tip. It's Eastmont and Kashmir next on the NCW Life Channel. Global Car Care. We speak your car's language. Problem solution. Hi, you. Well, I got a leaky transmission. My head gasket's shot. And I could use some new brake pads. That dog don't hunt. Global Car Care. We speak your car or truck's language. Hey, everyone. Did you know that the NCW Life Channel is North Central Washington's go-to source for news? No matter how you prefer to view your news, NCW Life has you covered. Watch the evening news weeknights on TV, stream it, read it at ncwlife.com, or catch the latest news by following us on Facebook. Stay informed with local news, sports, weather, and shows featuring local people and events. NCW Life, a reflection and a spotlight of the communities we call home. You don't want to see this happen. It's the oil light on your car. Oil is the lube of life for your car's engine. At Alignment Pros and Express Lube, they pour the best oil your car deserves. Expect fast, friendly, superior service in a clean environment. They'll change your oil and perform a 21-point inspection while you enjoy the comfort of their amazing waiting room. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube in East Wenatchee. And here we are once again, another basketball season upon us. Good evening, everybody. I'm Eric Grandstrom here courtside at Eastmont High School and a great crowd on hand for this opener between the Wildcats and the Cashmere Bulldogs. We mentioned the starter, Sam Phillips, a 6'1 sophomore guard. Nate Phillips, a 5'10 sophomore guard. Mason Landek, a 6'0 sophomore guard. Brooks Elliott, a 6'2 junior forward. And Sam Dotson, a 6'0 senior forward. That's the lineups for Cashmere. Out there in their black uniforms, trimmed in orange. Eastmont counters with Oscar Calvillo, a 5'9 junior guard. Trey Haberlock, a 6'0 junior guard. Isaac Wellborn, a 6'2 junior wing. Tanner Nelson, a 6'5 senior post. And Kaylor Cannon, a 5'11 junior wing player and we're underway the tip is handled by Eastmont and down the court quickly they feed the ball as it comes outside for a three-pointer and splash down good for Isaac Wellborn and we are underway Eastmont with its first lead of the game at three points Cashmere with the drive they'll kick it out in the corner looking at the drive and now we're going to get a whistle and a foul called our first of the ball game it'll come against Kaylor Cannon of Eastmont that's his first first team foul New shot clock for the Bulldogs. If they'll bring it inbounds, baseline left side, Nate Phillips will handle the ball. Comes way out top on the left wing to Landek. Landek will work against the defense, shoot the three-pointer. Good! Back and forth threes to start this ball game and our first tie from zero. As we are just underway, first quarter action. The ball tipped out of bounds. Good defensive flash there by Sam Dotson. Picked the ball away, but went out of bounds. So no turnover, Eastmont basketball. Wellborn will bring it inbounds on the far sideline. He'll loft it up, and it could have been a foul call maybe as Trey Haberlock got it. He'll take it in the lane, put up the runner. Good! Haberlock for two. Eastmont's up 5-3. Cashmere presses the uh, offense here quickly down floor. Sam Phillips inside, turning on the baseline. The ball thrown away, and a turnover for Cashmere. Back the other way, Count Veal lays it up. Good. So early turnover, kind of in no man's land. Sam Dotson got caught down low. Here's a three-pointer on the way. Good, look out. 
Mason Landek with his second tray of the ball game. It's a 7-6 contest. Eastmont by one. Calvillo feeding to Wellborn with the drive. Right-handed scoop shot on the run. No good. Rimmed out. And the rebound picked up by Phillips. Sam will bring it up. Top of the key. Hands it off to Dotson. Dotson works it through. Here's the three-pointer again. Rimmed out too far, and it will go off of Eastmont out of bounds. Nate Phillips. One of the twins out there, the uh, twins Phillips here for Kashmir. And a new shot clock on the missed shot. 35 seconds on the shot clock now. With 6.28 to go here in the first quarter, Eastmont on top at a fast-paced first few minutes of this one. Inbounds comes into Sam Phillips. He'll hit it back to Nate, back to Sam. Two-man game. And in the paint, Tanner Nelson right there with the rejection. Goes out of bounds off of Kashmir. So it'll be another turnover here for the Bulldogs. Inbounds pass to Haberlock. He'll give it up to Oscar Calvillo, very talented point guard running the show again for Eastmont this year under new head coach George Juarez. Welcome, George. Left side to Calvillo beyond the perimeter. Man defense here for Kashmir. Outside to Wellborn, he'll raise for the three. Bank shot, good. Second three of the ball game for Wellborn. It's a nine, excuse me, they gave the points to the wrong side there for a moment. It's 10-6. Here's a three. It's good. Mason Landek. No, that was Nate Phillips that time with the three-pointer. Back and forth we go. They got the score at 10-9 right now. Maybe they only gave him a two. I'm not sure if that score is right, but that's where it sits right now on the scoreboard. Lob pass inside and a reach foul going to be called here as they try to get it down low for Tanner Nelson. This foul is going to be on Brooks Elliott. That'll be his first first team foul. 10-9 to score on the scoreboard. And again, I thought that was a three-pointer last time down. That should be a tie game. Lob pass out top on the inbounds to Wellborn. He'll stop, then feed down to Calvillo. His three-pointer, I think it was touched on the defensive side. Defensive rebound on the miss picked up by Kashmir as Mason Landek will raise an NBA three-pointer. Missed the shot. Offensive rebound. Phillips with a scoop inside. No good. Rebound this time by Tanner Nelson. His pass stolen away. Inside it goes and a missed lay-in opportunity for Brooks Elliott. First turnover of the ball game for Eastmont. Nelson out top. He'll give it up to Calvillo around the ring on the outside. Five minutes to go. First quarter action. 10-9. Score remains here. Up and down it goes. Calvillo gets the feed inside from Wellborn. Defense converges on him, so they'll kick it back outside to Haberlock. Three-pointer, good. Five points for Haberlock. It's a four-point lead for Eastmont, their largest of the game at 13-9. Drive down, shot on the way, foul cold. Sam Dodson being aggressive down there. He'll draw the foul, and we'll get to the free throw line. And our foul whistled against Kaylor Cannon. That's already two on Cannon, so we'll see if Coach Juarez grabs for a replacement. Meanwhile, waiting to come into the ball game is Carter Alberts for Kashmir. But first, a free throw for Sam Donson. Our broadcast brought to you by the Alignment Pros and Express Lube. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube, including front and four-wheel alignment online at alignpros.com or at 182 Eastmont Avenue. First free throw was good for Dotson. Carter Alberts is waiting to come in for Dotson, so if he makes this free throw, they'll sound the horn again and get that replacement. Free throw's good. So Dotson connects on his opportunities. Alberts comes in. It's a three-point ball game. Should be, there we go. Now we got the score fixed. Well, it was fixed for a moment. I still think it should be 13-12 right now, but they say it's 13-11. Home book is the one that counts here at the scores table. Inside to Wellborn, nice outside look, and then he came back in, missed the shot. Here's an offensive rebound and put the uh, shot from outside, and it goes out of bounds. No, we're going to get a foul called on the rebound as Hammerlock casted from way downtown. Foul is on Brooks Elliott. That uh, draws the chagrin of the Cashmere fans that are here. Inbounds pass coming in baseline right side. Haberlock outside to Calvillo in the paint. Shovels up an off-balance shot. Partially rejected. Picked up by Kashmir. Outlet to Sam Phillips. Sam with a heads-up dribble through the lane. He'll go. Left-handed runner. Rejected. Out of bounds. It goes. It'll be Kashmir basketball. But Tanner Nelson, the big fella, gets up high. Reed Smith will now come in for Kashmir and give a breather to Brooks Elliott. 13-11 the score, 4-10 to go here in the first quarter of play. Lob pass inside, and a quick jump shot on the way and good by Carter Alberts. 
So off the bench for two for Alberts in our second tie of the ball game since it was 3-3. Calvillo puts four fingers aloft as he crosses the midcourt stripe. Looks left, feeds over there to Wellborn. Isaac, now the pass out top. Haverlock was pestered out there. Could have been a foul call. None coming now, an air ball. But we'll get a foul away from the ball, and it's going to be an offensive push, I think, on Wellborn. Let's see. Oh, no, it's on Tanner Nelson. That's his first. Our officials, by the way, Kirk Lyons, the referee, and the umpire Jim Jar and Seth Normington. That's our officiating crew from the Chelan County Basketball Officials Association. So tied up at 13, and now a look. Oh, I could thought maybe a travel could have been called. Instead, how about a three from the right side by Nate Phillips? Four three-pointers in the ball game for Kashmir. Here's a spinning drive and a handoff to Tanner Nelson, who lays it up and good. Oscar Calvillo forcing the pressure. Now back the other way. Here comes Phillips on the drive, and it is rejected again by Nelson, but the ball picked away. Back the other way comes Sam Phillips. Sam's in the lane. He'll drive it down, lay it up, good. Back and forth we go. 18-15 is what it says on the scoreboard right now. We're going to have to check that on a timeout. Make sure we're right here. Lob pass outside of Wellborn. Tight man defense applied by Kashmir. Wellborn's going to stop and shoot the three. It's off the mark. Offensive rebound. Put back is good by Kaylor Cannon. Cannon's got two fouls out there. We're going to get a whistle and a timeout, a 30-second timeout. So we'll keep it right here as the timeout is called by Kashmir, as again, our score says 18-17. Let me do some quick math here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 30, 40, 50, 6, 17, 18. Okay, that's correct. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 6, 17. All right, so 18-17, they got it right on the scoreboard. And our broadcast tonight brought to you by Automoco. What's your Automoco emergency? This is one of their six locations in the Valley, including the only Automoco with inside seating on 5th Street across from the college. Also by Color FX. Offering screen printing, embroidery, digital printing, and logo design for your team, school, business, or church at a fair price. Locally owned for over 20 years, call Color Effects at 509-741-7609. Everybody gets a chance to collect their breath here. Inbounds pass in the backcourt. Mason Landeck will bring it across the midcourt stripe. Stop and pop along. Three, good. Three. Three-pointers for Mason Landeck. you got a feeling it's going to be one of those games, gang. 21-17, Kashmir now out to its largest lead. One lead change in this one. The lead now is four points for the Kashmir Bulldogs. Drive on the baseline, kick it across to Calvillo. He'll come in the paint, spin, feed, and too many time, too much time in the paint, no call. Now outside for a long three-pointer, no good by Haberlock. Rebound, picked away, turnover by Kashmir. That's their fourth of this first half. Feed left or right side. Calvillo driving. Found himself in no man's land. Kicks to Wellborn for two. No. Count it. A three-pointer for Isaac Wellborn. That's three three-pointers for Hib. 21-20. We'll drive down the paint and count the bucket on the foul. Crashing into the end boards is Kashmir's Mason Landick. Give him two and one. We'll have to get who that foul was on. So Cavillo with his first foul. That's a fourth team foul against Eastmont. Free throw, good. Give him a three-point play. Mason Landek with a ton of points here in this first quarter. Route, they go around the perimeter. Lob pass inside, knocked around. And on the end line was Isaac Wellborn. That was an ill-advised pass by Trey Haberlock. And a turnover for Eastmont, their third here in this first quarter. So we're a minute 40 left. Can eat Kashmir on top, 24-20. No way you can get bored of this one. <laughs> Got to keep up. Landick out top will feed it up to Phillips for the drive. Little soft right-handed floater, no good. Rebound picked up by Eastmont, spinning, well-born, right-handed shovel, good! <laughs> 11 points for Wellborn. It's a two-point game, 24-22. Minutes and change left. Long off-balance three, no good. Offensive rebound. Putback is good by Carter Alberts. How about it? Four points off the bench for Alberts. 
Cashmere stays out in front by four, under a minute to go. Calvillo looking left, now wants to go right, gave up the dribble, gave it up to Haberlock out to center circle. Haberlock calling the play, picked up by the tight man defense of Nate Phillips. Haberlock kicks it outside for Calvillo. Calvillo with 17 on the shot clock. We'll give it up to Tanner Nelson. Tanner way outside of his comfort range. Now feeds the well-born. Backside they go, but a little bit too deep, and they'll just turn and rifle it off of the thigh of Carter Alberts. Good heads-up play there for Can or Eastmont by Kaylor Cannon. It'll be Can or Eastmont ball. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Into Calvillo. Back in the corner to Haberlock. Haberlock going to shoot the three-pointer. That's off the mark. Air ball, no good. Rebound picked up by Alberts. With 25 seconds left. The pass through the paint is picked off. Another turnover for Cashmere. That's five. Now Eastmont turns it right back over. Now another turnover again. Back and forth we go. Who wants it? Five turnovers per side here. They almost turn it back over again. Out top with eight seconds here in the quarter. Drive for Calvillo. Puts it on the hip. Puts it off the window. No good. We've got his own rebound. Put back. No good. Rebound tipped around. Volleyballed underneath and thrown off of the man out of bounds. It'll be Cashmere ball with three tenths of a second left. Good leaping play by Sam Phillips underneath the 6'1 sophomore guard. We'll get it in, and <laughs> it ricochets off the backboard, but that'll be our first quarter of play. We're going to have to reach for the oxygen mask here during our quarter break. We'll take a 60-second break and come back. After one, Cashmere 26, Eastmont 22. You're watching basketball tonight on the NCW Life Channel. We're back after this. Hi, my car's making a funny noise. Not a problem. We'll take care of you. Global Car Care's technicians are ASE master techs and well-versed in the more find methods of vehicular diagnostics. Number three piston and rings have a slight loss of compression, down to 108 pounds. Your transmission is slipping. You're going to need a service. Looks like you're all set. These guys? They're good. Oh, and your spare is flat. Global Car Care, Wenatchee's top shop. Exciting first quarter of play. Mason Landek leading the way with 12 points for Cashmere as the Bulldogs lead Eastmont 26-22 after one. The Wildcats led by the 11 points of Isaac Wellborn, and we've been raining threes here in this first quarter of play. Five three-pointers for Cashmere, four three-pointers for Eastmont. It'll be Cashmere basketball to start it off here. Sam Phillips with the ball out top. Picked up by the man defense here. Here's a long three for guess who? Mason Landek picks up right where he left off. Three-pointer. He's got 15 to the ball game. It's a seven-point lead for Cashmere, their largest of the ball game. Wellborn has trouble. Gives it up. Outside, Caleb Massey, who came into the game in the quarter break, will give it up to Calvillo. Between the circles, Calvillo looks back door. Haberlock with the drive. Too strong on the shot. Now we're going to get a foul on the rebound. I think this is going to be on Tanner Nelson pushing off. It is on Tanner Nelson. That's his second personal foul. Fifth team foul whistled against Eastmont here in the first quarter. Levi Hines got to like what he's seeing so far for his Cashmere Bulldogs. Inbounds pass to the backcourt comes into Mason Landek. Landek, nice crossover move. Uh, block with Calvillo going to be whistled for a foul here. Calvillo can't believe what he just heard and saw by the official calling it. But Oscar Calvillo picks up his second personal foul. 16 fouls. So we're going to get a lot of free throws here if Cashmere stays aggressive in the second quarter. They're one away from the bonus right now. Landek, who is one for one from the free throw line. In fact, Cashmere was three for three from the line in that first quarter of play. Substitutions for Eastmont. Lane Keller comes in. So too does Jack Feeney. Coach Juarez getting some fresh legs out there for his Wildcats. First free throw good. I'll make that the second free throw for Mason Landek. He gets two. That's five in the quarter. 17 in the ball game. Here's the three-pointer on the way. Good. Lane Keller off the bench says, yeah, I'll shoot this. 
31-25. Here's another three, back the other way. Good, look out, Mason Landag, splash down. 34-29, largest lead now at nine for Kashmir. Wellborn to Massey. Massey looking left side, feeds over there to Feeney. He'll shoot the three. Didn't follow a shot, but then picked up the ball loose after the rebound by Kashmir. Loose on the floor here. We got a held ball or a foul going to be called. Foul going to be called against Kashmir. Wow. That is Sam Phillips' first personal foul. The third team foul against Kashmir. Nate Phillips comes back in. So, too, to Sam Dotson here for Kashmir. Eastmont basketball trailing it by nine. They need a bucket this time on offense. Haberlock has the ball in hand, lobs it outside into the hands of Lane Keller. Keller will give it up to Feeney. Feeney to Wellborn. He'll shoot the three. Off the mark, no good. Wellborn just can't find the range here after getting off to a really good start. Here's a drive down to the paint, kick outside for a long three-pointer. Good, Sam Phillips. Five points for the sophomore. 12-point lead, and George Juarez says, ah, that's enough of that. We're going to take a timeout. We will take a timeout on the broadcast as well. 30 seconds, and we're back. It's 37-25, Cashmere with a 12-point lead. You're watching basketball tonight on the NCW Life Channel. We'll be right back. The pros, alignment pros. When your vehicle needs brakes, shocks, struts, or alignment, choose the experts in their field. Alignment pros and Express Lube with a five-star rating. The work they perform on your vehicle is as impeccable as their shop. With state-of-the-art equipment, alignment pros can handle all large or small vehicles. Specialty cars lifted or lowered, alignment Pros does them all. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube in East Wenatchee. So an 11-3 run by Kashmir here to start the second quarter as we're not even two minutes into it. 6.21 to go here in the half. And Kashmir's opened up a 12-point lead over Eastmont here on their home floor in their home opener tonight. Here's a three-pointer from the top of the key. That's no good, but a rebound offensive put back inside by Massey. Missed the shot. It was partially blocked. Rebound this time picked up by Kashmir. They'll rifle it ahead, and a little bit too long and strong for Carter Alberts. Goes out of bounds off of him. Turnover for Kashmir, their sixth unofficially in this first half of play. Our broadcast tonight brought to you by Global Car Care, a quality auto repair facility with highly trained technicians celebrating 25 years in the car care business. They speak your car's language at 1840 North Wenatchee Avenue. Right side to Haberlock in front of the Kashmir bench. Drive on the baseline. Defender falls down. Rebound defensive on a shot missed. So Phillips will feed it outside to Landeck. Another three-pointer. This time a little bit to uh, too far right, rebound defensive for Eastmont. Wellborn feeds to Massey. Massey in the paint with the runner, it's no good. Got his own rebound, gonna get a foul and get some free throws on a hustling play inside. Foul is on Phillips, Sam Phillips, that's his second personal foul. Fourth team foul, whistled against Kashmir. And Caitlin Massey to the line to try to get into the scorebook tonight. He does. I see Kalen has gone to different do, hairdo that is, post football season. Second free throw is up and good. We got a substitution here for, excuse me, Kashmir. Ty Schoening comes in. And Sam Dodson will come out. 37-27 the score. Cashmere basketball slowing the pace down just a skosh here. Mason Landeck has it top of the key. Drives left, stops, turns, spins, shoots, rims, won't fall. Rebound by Massey, defensive. Massey all the way down the paint, kicks it outside. Here's a three-pointer. That's off the mark. Rebound defensive off the miss by Lane Keller. So Eastmont uh, being content right now to try to Shoot from way outside. Sam Phillips kicks it in the corner for his brother. He used three-pointer, no good. Offensive rebound, put back, no good. Rebound again, offensive, picked up. A reverse layup attempt, it's no good. Four to get one, they can't get any. Wellborn, lob pass in the forecourt. Here's outside, it comes to Feeney. Now to Massey. Massey backs it away, 4.44 to go here in the first half of play. 37-27. 
Hand off to Haverlock. Double team on him for a moment. Back to Massey. He'll drive it and get rejected from behind. They're going to call a hell ball. And possession arrow is out to, I don't even see it on the board there. Out, it's out to Eastmont. Why am I not seeing the possession arrow up on the scoreboard? Huh. Substitutions here as Calvillo comes back in for Eastmont. So too does Tanner Nelson. So they get the, uh, well, four of the starting five out there, along with Kalen Massey. At 4.33 to go, Eastmont trying to get it within 10 here. Pass outside to Calvillo. In the paint, the ball stripped from him. They're going to call a reach foul against Kashmir. The foul is on Sam Dodson. That's his first fifth team foul. So it'll be an inbounds play baseline left side. No shooting on the foul. Haberlock has it. Lobs it outside to Wellborn. Wellborn kicks it even further outside to Calvillo. Calvillo to Haberlock for a unreasonably long three-pointer. No good. Nelson had the rebound. It was stripped from him and then picked up by Nate Phillips. Dotson will feed it off to Landek, and Landek will bring it across the timeline with 4.10 to go. Landek trying to drive, spinning, right-handed runner from the left foot. No good. Rebound defensive. Lead pass ahead to Wellborn. Wellborn with a reverse lay-in. It's no good. Fundamentals lacking a little bit here the last stretch. Now a drive by Dotson, rejected by Nelson. Long pass ahead, picked up by Landek. Another turnover for Eastmont, their sixth here of the first half. Here's the three-pointer from the right corner. It's no good. Everybody's gone cold here, both sides of the floor. 3.41 to go. 37-27, 10 points. We've been stuck there for a while. Calvillo. Looking maybe backdoor. No, I'm going to feed it outside to Wellborn. Wellborn goes backdoor to Calvillo. He'll hand it off to Tanner Nelson. He'll lay it in. Four points for Nelson. 3.22 to go in the half. It's down to an eight-point differential. Now the drive, and they stripped it from him, lost it out of bounds, and it will go off of Mason Landek and a turnover for Kashmir. A few times down the floor now to give the ball away. Dotson replaced in the lineup here for Kashmir by Reed Smith. Also, Sam Phillips will check back in and give Mason Landek a breather. Meanwhile, checking in for Eastmont was Lane Keller. 3-10 left in the half. 37-29. Here's a pass inside for Calvillo. Calvillo spinning with the shot, and it was blocked, but they're going to say following through on the Hammer was Carter Alberts. That'll be his first. And suddenly, we're even on the foul. Six per side. And stepping to the free throw line will be Oscar Calvillo. Well, Oscar's been none too shy about taking it in the paint in the trees. And has found himself at the free throw line. Well, missed the first here. He's only got two points of the ball game. So crucial to get, make those opportunities when they're handed to you on a silver platter. Calvillo will try to scrape from the platter one more time. Missed the shot. Rebound in the corner. Saved inbounds right to Massey. Now to Wellborn for a three. It's short. Wrangles off of the front of the rim. Picked up by Kashmir. Feet ahead to Phillips. Outside it comes to Sam. Sam's going to drive. He'll stop. Pop from eight. Good. Five points in the quarter for Phillips. He's got seven of the ball game. Back to a 10-point lead for Kashmir. 39-29. Well born in the corner. He'll drive it on the baseline. He's fouled, and now we're going to get one and one as Eastmont is in the bonus. I believe that foul will be coming against Nate Phillips. It is on Phillips. That's his first. Seventh team foul, so Eastmont now in the bonus as Mason Landek will come back in. And he will replace Sam Phillips. And meanwhile, it'll be Isaac Wellborn to the free throw line. This will be the mm, what fifth free throw of the night for Eastmont. They've only made two so far. Wellborn's first stand of the 101, no good. Rebound picked up by Kashmir's Mason Landek. He's had a whale of a first half here. Hands it off to Phillips in the drive. Kick it in the corner for a three-pointer. Good! Goodness, Kai Schoenig, who does not shoot three-pointers for this Kashmir team. Goodness gracious. 13-point lead, largest of the game for Kashmir. 
Calvillo looks right to Massey. He'll stop and shoot it from 14. It's too strong, no good. Rebound tapped. Nice job by Massey. Tanner Nelson right there, the recipient of the poke. And Tanner lays it up and good. Landek hands it off to Phillips for a long three. It's no good. Rebound picked up by Eastmont as Lane Keller came up with it. He'll give it up to Massey, who will give it to Calvillo. Calvillo looked to work off a pick at the top of the key. He won't do it. Back it away, now to Wellborn. Isaac's got cold since he was hot as a pistol in the first half. Looking cross courts, uh, Wellborn down in the corner to Calvillo. He got 14 on the shot clock, 134 on the game clock here in the first half. Lob ahead, inside, the ball rejected, then picking it up, passes across the court to Nelson. Now outside to Calvillo with two on the shot clock. Rims off, no good. Rebound chased down by Eastmont. Nice job by Lane Keller, but his pass thrown away and picked up by Cashmere. Seven turnovers now for Eastmont. Here's a long three-pointer. It's off the mark, no good. And then uh, we got, what, a whistle on the miss? No. Thought maybe a foul might be called. Landek hit the deck. Substitution for Cashmere. Hubert Farias comes in. Meanwhile, it is Eastmont ball. So that's as good as a turnover. 42-31 the score, Cashmere by 11. Bucket here, and Eastmont will close the gap to within double digits. Wellborn to Massey. Massey, top of the key. Right side it comes to Keller. Now over across, and a throw. They throw it away again. Whistle going to be called, and a foul going to be whistled here. No, they're going to say he stepped on the out-of-bounds line. So a turnover for Cashmere. That's nine here in this first half. 42-31, 47 seconds left, so Eastmont can work a lot of the clock here if they choose. Calvillo's going to drive it down and should have been called for a travel. It is a travel. Stepped on somebody's foot and crashed in the paints. And so his turnover will be the eighth of the first half for Eastmont. So Cashmere with the ball. Bounce pass down low, turn around, no wasting time on that shot. The ball rebound, tipped outside of the miss, picked up by Cashmere in the quarter. Sam Phillips for three, it's good. Eight in the quarter, 10 of the ball game for Sam Phillips, 45-31. The score, 14-point lead, largest. Here's a shot by Massey. It's way off the mark, no good, but the rebound touched by Cashmere goes out of bounds. It'll be out to Eastmont with 19.1 seconds left. 45-31, 14-point bulge here for Cashmere. What a second quarter it's been. Massey for a three, good, top of the key. Kalen Massey finally connects on a field goal. He's got five, it's an 11-point differential. The ball stolen away by Calvillo. Calvillo with 10 seconds, with nine, goes down the paint with eight, will drive it, and they're gonna call an offensive foul on a charge on Calvillo. Had nobody to throw the ball to. And so he is called for his third personal foul. 6.6 seconds. Waited for Calvillo to get rid of that ball earlier in the paint, but he didn't do it. Three seconds, two, drive, rejection by Nelson. One second, here's a loft for three-quarter court. It's no good. And that will be our first half of play where the Cashmere Bulldogs will lead the Eastmont Wildcats at halftime by a score of 45 to 34. We'll take a two minute break and get you more here from Eastmont High School as we bring you our first basketball game of the 2018-19 season on the NCW Life Channel. Again, our score at halftime, Cashmere 45, Eastmont 34. We're back after this. Hi, I'm Kevin Prosser and this is my print shop, Color Effects in Cashmere. Color Effects offers screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing on t-shirts, jerseys, bags, banners, signs, and more. With 30 years experience, you won't be disappointed with the quality and quick turnaround times you will get at more than a fair price. Please call Color FX. What's your auto mocha emergency? It's a Frappita Mocha with Whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the Mocha Frappitas. A peach Red Bull.
When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you get 35 years of experience and customer service in the Wenatchee Valley. Dick's friendly staff strongly believe in repairing before replacing and service all major brands of HVAC units. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning is your local, independent, trained comfort specialists, proudly serving all of North Central Washington. Call 884-6444 today. Guten Samir das Problem Saga. Meinen Zylinder überschwind. Blute, ich habe mein Fucken below. Keine Sorge. Global Car Care, we speak your car's language. Fragen schlüssen. Hey, you! Well, I got a leaky transmission, my head gasket's shot, and I can use some new brake pads. That dog don't hunt. Global Car Care, we speak your car or truck's language. Halftime here at Eastmont High School, and what a first half it was, especially for the Cashmere Bulldogs, and especially that second quarter. My, oh, my, the uh, Bulldogs led it by four at the end of 126-22 and would uh, run off a huge 11-3 run to start the second quarter and we'll go into the halftime here leading at 45 to 34. Unofficial totals in that first half of play. Mason Landek is just on fuego right now. 20 points in the first half. He has five three-pointers. He had 12 points after the end of the first, 20 at halftime. Meanwhile, Sam Phillips with 10 points for Kazmir. Nate Phillips with six. Carter Alberts with four off the bench. Tyler Schoenig with three. And Sam Dotson with two. Kazmir perfect from the free throw line. Five for five in that first half of play. Unofficially with nine turnovers in the first half. So I know that Levi Hyan would like to clean that up a little bit. And we had two ties, one lead change. And Kazmir a 14-point lead at one point in the first half. And that was their largest. It sits at 11 right now. Meanwhile, for the Cashmere Bulldogs, or for the Eastmont Wildcats, that is, they're led by the 11 points of Isaac Wellborn, all 11 in the first quarter. He went completely cold in that second quarter, so he's going to try to go into halftime and find his shot back here. Meanwhile, he uh, got a little bit of help. Tanner Nelson with six points, five from uh, Trey Haberlock, five points from Kalen Massey off the bench, uh, two points for Oscar Calvillo, three for Lane Keller, and two for Kaylor Cannon. Eastmont 2 of 5 from the free throw line. They turned it over eight times unofficially in the first half. They led by as many as four in the early going, but Kashmir reeled them in and passed them and leads it here by 11 at halftime. There's a big wrestling tournament happening here tomorrow. For the first time ever, Eastmont is hosting a girls wrestling tournament. They're going to have over 100 female wrestlers from around Washington here tomorrow. I was hoping to talk to the uh, girls wrestling coach, but... He, as you could probably understand, is running around like a chicken with his head cut off right now, and that's understandable. So I don't think we're going to get him here for halftime, but we have plenty more that we could be talking about, and including our sponsors. Our uh, broadcast tonight here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by One Way Construction, founded in 2000. One Way is a premier custom home builder and construction company in Leavenworth, Kashmir, Chelan, Wenatchee, and North Central Washington. Whether your project requires general contracting, framing, concrete, or consultation services, they want to be part of making your vision a reality. They believe that great communication and customer service plays the most important role of a successful construction project. Find them on the web at onewaconstructionnw.com. Also by the Windmill Restaurant of Wenatchee, priding itself on being a local legend for 80 years, the windmill features slow-roasted prime rib, highest quality hand-cut steaks, and fresh seafood. Homemade dressings and pies are made daily and are the mainstay of this legendary landmark restaurant. The windmill has a full bar and an excellent selection of beer and wine from which to choose. Call the windmill and make your reservation at 665-9529. That's 665-9529. Again, our score here at halftime, Cashmere leads Eastmont 45-34. Back with more at half. Right after this two-minute timeout on the NCW Life Channel. Everyone, did you know that the NCW Life Channel is North Central Washington's go-to source for news? No matter how you prefer to view your news, NCW Life has you covered. Watch the evening news weeknights on TV, stream it, read it at ncwlife.com, or catch the latest news by following us on Facebook. Stay informed with local news, sports, weather, and shows featuring local people and events. NCW Life, a reflection and a spotlight of the communities we call home. You don't want to see this happen. It's the oil light on your car. 
Oil is the lube of life for your car's engine. At Alignment Pros and Express Lube, they pour the best oil your car deserves. Expect fast, friendly, superior service in a clean environment. They'll change your oil and perform a 21-point inspection while you enjoy the comfort of their amazing waiting room. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube in East Wenatchee. Hi, I'm Kevin Prosser and this is my print shop, Color Effects in Cashmere. Color Effects offers screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing on t-shirts, jerseys, bags, banners, signs, and more. With 30 years experience, you won't be disappointed with the quality and quick turnaround times you will get at more than a fair price. Please call Color FX. Welcome back once again here to Eastmont High School where the home team trails the visitors, the Cashmere Bulldogs, 45-34 here at halftime. Uh, it is in the fourth quarter now, and it's a low-scoring affair at the Pac-12 Championship at Levi Stadium. 10-3 the score right now, Washington leading Utah as the number 11-ranked Washington Huskies trying to advance to the Rose Bowl and take on the winner of the Big Ten, well, we'll see about that. If Ohio State still maintains their situation, that will probably won't be Ohio State. But Washington leading Utah 10-3, and that is late, 2-10 to go in regulation of that one. Our broadcast tonight on the, the NCW Life Channel brought to you by One Way Construction, premier custom home builders and a construction company for North Central Washington, including general contracting, framing, concrete, and consulting services online at onewayconstructionnw.com. Also by the windmill, a time-tested re restaurant providing traditional steakhouse meals in a homey, old-fashioned dining room. Open seven days a week, 4.30 to 9 p.m. Call 509-665-9529. Also by Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning. They service all brands of commercial and residential HVAC systems. Call 509-884-6444 for more information. And by Biosports Physical Therapy, providing the best environment, most qualified, experienced therapists in North Central Washington. You have the right to select your health care team. Why wouldn't you choose the best? Choose Biosports. Well, the teams are out. We're a minute away from the second half, so we'll do that right after the 60-second timeout on the NCW Life Channel. The pros, alignment pros. When your vehicle needs brakes, shocks, struts, or alignment, choose the experts in their field. Alignment pros and Express Lube with a five star rating. The work they perform on your vehicle is as impeccable as their shop. With state of the art equipment, alignment pros can handle all large or small vehicles. Specialty cars lifted or lowered, alignment pros does them all. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube in East Wenatchee. When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you get 35 years of experience and customer service in the Wenatchee Valley. Dick's friendly staff strongly believe in repairing before replacing and service all major brands of HVAC units. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning is your local independent train comfort specialists, proudly serving all of North Central Washington. Call 884-6444 today. Just about ready for the second half to get underway here at Eastmont High School where the Wildcats will have a hole from which to climb, trending it by 11 here at half. They trail by as many as 14 in that first half of play. Appreciate you joining us on the NCW Life Channel. I'm Eric Grandstrom along with Dan Coots, Malcolm Whitehall. We also have Jessica here, and uh, we are ready to go as we're underway second half. Cashmere with a basketball first in their black uniforms, Nate Phillips. Got the ball into Mason Landeck. He will run the offense here. See if anybody's made any drastic changes defensively as they'll feed it up to Sam Phillips. He'll cut across the paint, have the ball stripped from him, and then we'll back it away. They do have some new bodies out there for Cash or for Eastbond. Here's a long three-pointer. It's off the mark. No good. Offensive rebound by Dotson. He'll drive the paint, put the ball up over the top of Tanner Nelson. Missed the shot. Calvillo with a rebound, skying up there for Eastbond. 
Kicks it out to Wellborn. Outside to Haberlock. Haberlock looking, now stepping, now driving, now shooting. And knocked to the floor in the process. And he'll head to the free throw line for two shots. That's one thing you love as a coach is for that, if you're trailing, for the clock not to move. Sam Dodson with his second personal foul. First team foul here called in the second half. Trey Haberlock to the line for the first time tonight. He had five points in that first half. First one is up and good. Be sure and tune in tomorrow if you want to see some girls bowling. Good matchup between Eastmont and Wenatchee. Second free throw up and good as Eastmont and Wenatchee girls bowling tomorrow at 2 right here on the NCW Life Channel. Here's a drive and a kick across. Now quick ball movement for a 3. Good. Nate Phillips. Well, Kashmir able to connect on a lot of those threes in the first half. That's what the big item that gave them their big lead. Here's Wellborn trying to match it. It's way off the mark. No good. Clanged off of the backboard. Picked up by Kashmir. Now the drive by Landek. Layup. Missed the shot. Tanner Nelson fouled from behind on the rebound. That'll be three quickly here on Sam Dotson. Again, our officials, Kirk Lyons, Jim Jar, Seth Normington from the Schlank County Basketball Officials Association. Good crowd on hand here tonight at East Pond High School. Appreciate you joining us on the NCW Life Channel. Wellborn collects a errant pass there. Now they'll go top of the key. Now inside to Tanner Nelson. Turn around shot on the way. Good! Nice touch by Tanner Nelson. He spawns out, scored Cashmere to start this half, 4-3. Here's the drive, spinning for Sam Phillips, and his pass sails out of bounds. Turnover. It's the tenth of the game for Cashmere. That was the only negative thing I could say about that first half for the Bulldogs. Carter Alberts comes back into the lineup, replacing Sam Dotson here for Cashmere. Meanwhile, no press to the backcourt, so bringing it up is Oscar Calvillo for Eastmont. Goes right side to Haverlock, well beyond the three-point arc. Drives the baseline, reverse layup, good. Boy, Cashmere a little soft on the defense on that drive by Trey Haverlock. He's got four in the quarter, and they're reeling him in. Our Eastmont now trailing it by eight. The drive by Phillips, kick in the corner, and it's no good. That's a final now. 10-3, the final Washington over Utah, so... Congratulations to the Huskies, Pac-12 champions. Meanwhile, Trey Haberlock with another bucket back the other way, and it's suddenly a six-point differential. We're going to get a timeout taken here by Levi Hyen and the Casper Bulldogs. We'll keep it right here on the NCW Life Channel. So that game has gone final. Congratulations to the Huskies winning it tonight over Utah. Low-scoring affair at Levi Stadium. So how about the run here for Eastmont to start the second half? 8-3 run to close the lead to 6. Here in the third quarter. Again, Eastmont would actually girls bowling on the television station tomorrow at 2. And then Eastmont Puyallup, that playoff football game, tomorrow night at 7. Of course, the uh, busy weekend in high school sports with the Gridiron Classic happening today and tomorrow. We the Tacoma Dome to officially wrap up the fall sports season. Two championships settled tonight. Four more tomorrow. Here's a drive left side by Sam Phillips. He's hacked on his way to the hoop. They will say it was on the shot, and the foul is coming against Kayla Cannon. That's his third. First team foul against Eastmont here in the second half. Phillips to the line for the first time here tonight. First free throw up and good. He has 11 points unofficially. Substitution for Eastmont, Kaler Massey comes in. He'll replace Kaler Cannon, who just picked up his third foul. Meanwhile, Sam Phillips with one more free throw, good. Massey, outlet to Wellborn, quickly up, and the ball stolen away. Cashmere stepping in front, another turnover for Eastmont. And a rebound on a missed shot. Up ahead to Haberlock. Trey 
Gets away from the defense, finds Calvillo for the left-handed drive. Wraparound pass to Nelson. Nelson rejected, but there's Massey. His put back no good. Rebound volleyball around, picked up, picked up finally by Calvillo to Wellborn. He missed the shot. There's a lid on the rack right now until Wellborn's able to find the range. And that's the first bucket for Isaac Wellborn since the first quarter. Three-pointer off the mark, no good. Rebound by Calvillo. Six-point differential. Phillips stepped in front. The ball is saved in bounds by Calvillo. Right to Nate Phillips. He'll shoot the three. Good. Ouch. That hurts right there. Innocent attempt by Calvillo to save the ball in bounds. He saved it right to Phillips, who then drained a three. 53-44. Nine-point lead for Cashmere. Calvillo gives it to Haverlock. Haverlock with a long three. That's off the mark. Rebound tapped around, but then picked up by Carter Albert. Boy, he's had some quality minutes here for Cashmere in this one. Off to the drive. Right-handed shovel shot on the way. No good by Landek. He's off the mark here so far in the second half. Rebound Eastmont. Drive down the floor and off the mark again with a shot. Haverlock. Rebound picked up by Cashmere. They'll quickly get it ahead to Phillips. He'll shoot the three. Good. Ouch. 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 Three three-pointers for Nate Phillips here in the third quarter. Timeout going to be taken by Eastmont. We'll take a 30-second break on the broadcast. 3.51 to go in the third. 56-44. Cashmere on top. We're back after this. What's your auto mocha emergency? It's a Frappita mocha with whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the mocha for pitas. A peach Red Bull. Our broadcast tonight on the NCWI channel brought to you by the Alignment Pros and Express Lube. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube, including front and four-wheel alignment. Online at alignpros.com or at 182 Eastmont Avenue. Following the Eastmont timeout, Wildcats will get it up to Wellborn for a three and just not finding the range since the first quarter when he had three three-pointers. Ball goes out of bounds. The officials will meet on the far side, see who touched it last. And they're going to say it's Eastmont ball. So the turnover, the 11th here of the ball game for Cashmere. That's the only sty in their side here on this one. Wellborn has it, gives it up to Massey, now outside to Calvillo. Change of possession, also a new shot clock for Eastmont. Boy, that could have been called a carry. Now Haverlock off balance three. Rims won't fall. If Haverlock just sets himself before he shoots while he's floating through the air, might have a better range on that. Now a held ball called, and possession arrow is out to Eastmont. Good hustling play inside by Caleb Massey for the Wildcats. Try to get the Gridiron Classic to open up and tell me what happened with games so far at the uh, Classic here. Lob pass outside to Massey near midcourt. 3.21 to go here in the third. 56-44. Cashmere leading it since the end of the first quarter. Haberlock inside, and I think he stepped on the end line. He did. Turnover. That is 11 turnovers for Eastmont. Okay, we do have a score for you in the, well, that's a quarterfinal score, hang on, I'll have to get that in a moment. Now here's Eastmont back the other way after a turnover, Haberlock, two, eight points in a quarter for Haberlock, he's a one-man crew and an offensive foul going to be called and Tanner Nelson with the block. They're going to call the foul on Mason Landick. Wow. Landick didn't have the ball anymore. And so they say that is a charge. Goodness. Eastside Catholic leads O'Day in the 3A title game of the first quarter, 10-0 at the Gridiron Classic. See, they had the, it wasn't the 1A, it was the 2B championship.
championship earlier, and Kalama is a 2B champion downing Napabine 34-25. 56-46. Eastbawn after yet another turnover by Cashmere. Back the other way, and a foul got to be called here as Calvillo will head to the free throw line. Foul is whistled on Carter Alberts. That's his second. That is the fourth team foul. Oscar Calvillo a chance again for Eastmont to cut that lead. It was down to six at one point here in this quarter. First free throw, no good. Calvillo 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Eastmont 4 of 8 from the line in the game. Second free throw, good. So Calvillo connects on one of the two. The lead now is nine. Nate Phillips on the drive, kicks it down to the corner, and I'm screened by the official, spinning in the lane. Here's Tanner Nelson with another block. It goes out of bounds. It's off of Cashmere as Brooks Elliott has his shot block, and then he touched it last, goes out of bounds. It's out to Eastmont. 56-47, nine-point differential. Eastmont with a chance to chew into that a little bit more. Calvillo works off a pick outside, goes to Haverlock, who passes it out front to Massey. Massey back to Haverlock. Cross-court pass to Wellborn for three. Off the back of the iron, no good. Now Calvillo, offensive rebound, put back on the drive. They're going to call a blocking foul, and Calvillo will head to the free throw line again. Brooks Elliott's will be the guilty party of the foul there, his third, and five team fouls now against Cashmere. Calvillo for two free throws, the first one is good. Substitution here for Cashmere. Reed Smith will come in to replace Brooks Elliott. That's one thing that Levi Hyen doesn't have the luxury of, is a very deep bench. He only has four substitutes here tonight. Second free throw good by Calvillo. Well, now he's three of four in the quarter. 56-49 is our score right now. Down to a seven-point differential. Here's another three on the way. No good. Kasper's gone cold here as Landek can't find the range. Defensive rebound. They'll flip it ahead. Cross court to Wellborn. He'll try the three again. This time it rattles home for Isaac Wellborn. Well, you keep chipping at that iceberg, eventually you're going to get a chunk off. And Wellborn did there, and then a turnover back the other way. Sam Phillips turns the ball over. Four here in the second half on the turnover side for Cashmere, or, and they're giving Eastmont another opportunity to close the gap. Four-point differential. How about that? Out top to Massey. Massey gives it back to Calvillo with a minute 20 to go in the third. Calvillo. Cut off just inside the free throw line. He needs to kick it out and step out of that paint. He finally does. Massey will dribble it in. Stop at the corner. Lost the handle. Now needs help. Finds Wellborn. Three-pointer on the way. Off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound tip back to Wellborn. Wellborn's going to shovel up the right hander off the backboard and through. Wellborn. It ain't pretty, but he's got seven in the quarter. Two-point differential. Drive. Tap. Loose, scramble, loose ball, sidelines off of Calvillo. It is Cashmere ball. Huber Farias checks back in for Cashmere, replaces Reed Smith. Inbounds, far side. Nate Phillips brings it in to brother Sam. Sam with 40 seconds on the game clock. 15 on the shot clock, working against Kalen Massey. Spins in the paint, got Massey up in the air. Nice job by Sam Phillips. He'll head to the line for a couple of shots. The foul on Massey is his first, only the second team foul against Eastmont here in the second half. They're not going to give him free throws. They're going to say a non-shooting foul. So inbounds baseline right side. They feed it in the corner to Landek. He'll dribble in towards the paint. Stop at the elbow or at the corner down there. Lost the handle. A uh, put up no good by Alberts. Rebound Eastmont. Nice job by Haberlock to save it in bounds. Got the feed back to him. Three pointer bringing rain with it. Nothing got happening. Wellborn shot. It's no good. Alberts rebound. Outlet to Phillips. Ten seconds left. Feed ahead and the layup. No good. 
Rebound, Eastmont, five seconds, Tanner Nelson with the dunk, and we're tied at 56, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. What a comeback for the Eastmont Wildcats as they outscore Kashmir in this third quarter to tie it up at 56. Don't go anywhere. We have the fourth and final frame ahead after this 60-second timeout. Knotted at 56. You're watching Kashmir and Eastmont tonight on the NCW Live channel. We're back after this. Global Car Care. We speak your car's language. Fraden Hey, you! Well, I got a leaky transmission, my head gasket's shot, and I could use some new brake pads. That dog don't hunt. Global Car Care, we speak your car or truck's language. Hey everyone, did you know that the NCW Life Channel is North Central Washington's go-to source for news? No matter how you prefer to view your news, NCW Life has you covered. Watch the evening news weeknights on TV, stream it, read it at ncwlife.com, or catch the latest news by following us on Facebook. Stay informed with local news, sports, weather, and shows featuring local people and events. NCW Life, a reflection and a spotlight of the communities we call home. Cashmere Bowl to start the fourth quarter. Eastmont outscored Cashmere 22-11 in the third to tie it up here at 56 as we begin the final quarter of regulation. Blocking foul going to be whistled against Haberlock here. That'll be his first personal foul. Third team foul against Eastmont. It'll be inbounds baseline right side. 20 points for Mason Landek, all in the first half, scoreless in the third quarter. 7.48 to go in the fourth, just underway, knotted at 56. Bounce pass inbound, stolen away by Calvillo. Another turnover for Cashmere. They have six in the second half. Calvillo spinning, driving, layup, no good. Foul called. Calvillo back to the line. Fouls on Nate Phillips, that's his second. Well, one thing I wondered with uh, a lot of sophomores and underclassmen here for the Kashmir Bulldogs is experience and how would Levi Hyan's crew do if Kash or if Eastmont was able to mount some sort of a comeback. First free throw by Calvillo, no good. Oscar now three for seven in the ball game from the free throw line. As, or Eastmont had done much better in that third quarter. Second free throw is good. Calvillo now with six in the ball game, and we have our second lead change of the ball game, 57-56. Another almost turnover in the paint, and we're going to get a reach foul against Calvillo as Mason Landek lost the handle in the paint, got it back, and then fouled by Calvillo. That's his fourth personal foul. Eastmont can't afford to lose Oscar Calvillo here. Inbounds play far sideline. Sam Phillips lobs it in. Now beautiful feed to Landek. Missed the layup. Rebound by Haberlock. Trey up the far side. Driving. Layup. Good. And foul. Haberlock has just caught fire here in the second half. He's got 15 in the ball game and 10 of that here in the second half. The foul is on Hubert Farias for Kashmir. That's his first. That'll be the sixth, make that seventh team foul. So Eastmont's in the bonus rest of the way here. Substitution for Kashmir. Dotson comes back into the ball game. And Trey Haberluck will try to make it a three-point play. He's two for two for the line. Missed the shot. Rebound picked up by Kashmir. Alberts, outlet to Phillips. Phillips. Boy, Kashmir has just gone cold from three-point land after draining so many in the first half of this ball game. Drive and the ball stripped from Mason Landek. Goes out of bounds off of Eastbaum. 22 on the shot clock. 7.08 on the game clock. Eastmont's largest lead was back early in the first quarter at four points. It stands at three right now. Outside, Kashmir works the ball to Landek. Landek working it against Haverlock. Going to shoot the three. It's short. Rebound picked up by Massey. He traveled with it. No call. 
Lob pass across to Wellborn. He'll shoot the three-pointer. Rims won't fall. Rebound picked up by Landek. Mason driving, kicking. Alberts, shot, good. Six points for Alberts off the bench. 59-58, Eastmont by one. Long way to go in this one. Haberlock, top of the key. Goes right side with it to Calvillo. Now to Massey for a two-pointer from the elbow. Rebound, put back, good. Tanner Nelson using the big height. The 6'5 senior comes through with a bucket. It's a 12-point game for Nelson. Most of that here in the second half. And a foul going to be called on the drive by Mason Landek. Foul is on Trey Haverlock. That's his second. 61-58 the score. They keep kind of giving wrong teams buckets here on the scoreboard, but I believe we are collect correct now. First free throw up and good by Mason Landak. That's his first point since the first half. 21 of the ball game. He had 20 at halftime. He's three for three. Make that four for four from the line. Make it five for five from the line. He makes two. Makes it a one-point ball game. 61-60. And we're going to get an offensive charge called on Haverlock as he crashed into Landek. Landek hits the dirt. And the foul on Haverlock is his third. Suddenly now 16 fouls against Eastbaugh. 6-12 to go in regulation. Both teams sucking wind right now as Landek brings it across the midcourt stripe working against Haberlock. Gives it up to Sam Phillips. Phillips going to stop and pop from the top of the key. It rims off no good. Rebound offensive. Put back. Stripped away by Tanner Nelson. He's got to have about six blocks in this game. Rebound picked up by Eastmont. Calvillo works top of the key, looking for help, finds Wellborn down in the corner to Massey. Massey drives in, shoots on the run, it's off the mark, no good. And a rebound picked up by Cashbear. I'll let pass to Sam Phillips. Phillips will give it up to his brother. Here's a long three. It, I think, was touched on the way. Alberts will feed it back out to him, say, Nate, maybe try it again. Nope, he won't. He'll give it up to Sam. Sam picked up outside by Massey. Drives past him in the lane, kicks it out. Here's a two-pointer. It's off the mark, no good. Rebound, Massey collects it. Throws it in bounds, but it goes right out of bounds, but then picked up by Kashmir. Opportunity for some glass, and now a whistle going to be called. Blocking against Wellborn on the drive by Sam Doxson. Wellborn's first personal foul. Both teams in the bonus now. 17 fouls per side, and... Sam Dotson has a chance to give Kashmir the lead back that it lost here in this fourth quarter. First free throw, good. One more to come for the six-foot senior forward for the Kashmir Bulldogs. Electric crowd here for our opener here tonight at Eastmont High School. 5-10 to go. We're tied at 61. Free throw off the mark, no good. Tanner Nelson can't squeeze it. It is... Landek, who shoots it, he missed it, got the rebound back. Way outside, it was tapped to him. Feeds it off to Dodson. Dodson outside to Phillips. Phillips wants to reset the offense with 23 on the shot clock. Now to Sam. Sam drives, bounces behind his back, and then the ball stripped, goes out of bounds. It's off of Sam Phillips. They're going to say that's a turnover. Goodness. Seven turnovers here in the second half, 16 in the ball game. Neither coach going to be happy about sloppy ball handling on either side here this evening. Inbounds pass comes into Calvillo. All tied up at 61. That's our third tie of the game. Massey collects it near center circle. Gave up the dribble. Now needs some help. Lobs it down to Nelson. Nelson on the baseline. He'll bring it back outside. They'll work it around to Wellborn in the corner to Calvillo. He'll drive. Then double team comes. They're going to call a travel. <laughs> Fourth turnover for Eastmont here in the second half. 12 in the ball game. Still knotted at 61. Almost the halfway mark of this fourth quarter. Kick out to Phillips. Nate drive. Kicks it to Sam. Sam starts one way, then kicks it back to Nate. Nate's going to rise and shoot the long two-pointer. Rims off the front of the iron and falls through. Nate Phillips with his 17th point. 
gives Cashmere the lead back, our third lead change of the game. Haberlock, wing right. Lob pass out top to Nelson. Nelson works it around to Calvillo. Calvillo looking underneath, instead going to feed to Wellborn. Wellborn driving and then left the ball, and then they're going to get a blocking foul on the floor, but it will be one and one for Isaac Wellborn. So Sam Dodson, that's his fourth personal foul for Kashmir. And again, I mentioned Levi Hyen does not have a big bench here. Isaac Wellborn, free throw good. 19 points for Wellborn after scoring 11 in the first quarter. Second free throw, good. 20 points for Wellborn in the game, and we're tied again at 63. Fourth tie of the game. Kick out for Sam Phillips for a three-pointer. Rims won't fall. Rebound picked up by Haberlock. Haberlock with a heads-up dribble across midcourt. Stops, backs it away from the defense. Looking for some help, directing traffic. Now we'll hand it off to Calvillo. Oscar picked up there by Nate Phillips. Oscar drives, then feeds. Tanner Nelson lay in. Good. Beautiful job by Oscar Calvillo to draw the defense. <laughs> Another lead change. How about four in the game? Elbow left. Shot taken. No good. Missed by Dotson. Rebound to Eastmont. Feed off to Haberlock for a three-pointer. Good. Five in the quarter, eight into the ball game. Dotson for a three. It's no good. Excuse me, that was Landek for three. He's missed the mark here in the second half. Now Wellborn driving. Lost the handle on the floor. Ball loose. Picked up by Kashmir. Turnover by Eastmont. They're fifth in the second half. Five-point lead for Eastmont is their largest of the ball game. Here's a three-pointer for Kashmir. Off the back of the iron, no good. We're going to get a foul, though, on the rebound against Eastmont. It's on Hammerlock. That's his fourth personal foul. Substitutions here for Kashmir. Reed Smith in. So, too, is Ty Schoening. Sixty-eight, sixty-three. 2.42 to go here in regulation. One and one for Carter Alberts. He's got six in the game. Make it seven as he cans the free throw. Kashmir has made all but one free throw here in the game. They're 11 of 12 in the contest. Second free throw, good. 68-65. Eastmont by three. Massey down in the corner for Haberlock, playing with four fouls now. Haberlock feeds all nice feed to Calvillo. Lay in good. Went back door to Oscar Calvillo. Beautiful assist. Now back the other way. Landek with a drive. The shot it falls off the mark, falling down. And then Mason Landek gets his fourth in the quarter. 24th of the ball game. 70-67, three-point launch from outside, no good, rebound fought for, battled away by Kazmir. Feet ahead to Landek, no look pass, Carter has the ball stripped, they're going to call an offensive foul charge on Carter Alberts. That'll be his third personal foul. Substitution for Eastmont, Isaac Wellborn will come in. First, though, we're going to get a timeout taken by Kazmir. And we will take a timeout as well and grab for the oxygen mask again. 70-67 our score. We're back after the 60-second timeout. You're watching Good Hoops tonight on the NCW Life Channel. We'll be right back. shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate for pita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the mocha for pitas. A peach Red Bull.
Our broadcast tonight on the NCW Life Channel brought to you by Automoka. What's your Automoka emergency? Visit one of their six locations in the Valley, including the only Automoka with inside seating on 5th Street across from Wenatchee Valley College. Whistle sounds after the timeout taken by Cashmere. They've got three timeouts left. Calvillo has the ball. Gives it up to Isaac Wellborn. 70-67. What a game here tonight. Lob pass inside, and a shot off the window. No good by Massey. Got his own rebound. His putback. Foul going to be called, I think, on Alberts here. Two free throws coming up for Keelan Massey. No, the foul is on Ty Schoening. That's his first. Double bonus rest of the way here for Eastmont. His first free throw by Massey is no good. Eastmont, three of six in this quarter from the line. Ten of 17 in the ball game. Substitution for Cashmere. They get some more bodies out there. As Mason Landek is in there. Second free throw for Massey. This one's good. Kayla Massey with six in the ball game. 71 67. Four points. Cashmere looking for a bucket. Here's a shot from outside. Good! Carter Alberts, six in the quarter, 10 of the ball game. 71 69. Got to come down to the last shot here. Minute 28 left in regulation. Left side, well board. Stops and pops from 20. Rims off, no good. Tanner Nelson could have been called for over the back. None coming. Cashmere with a rebound. I'll let pass to Landek. Landek feeds across, far side, over to Elliott. Elliott. Hands it off to Landek. He'll drive, put the shot off the window, no good. Rebound, Massey had the rebound but lost the handle. Tanner Nelson was right there, so he's talking to him, saying, Kalen, Kalen, I was right there. I had the ball. It's out of bounds to Cashmere with a minute seven to go, trailing it by two. Been a long time since the Bulldogs had a three-pointer. Pass inside the land deck. He'll drive the paint, put the shot up off of the window. They're going to call an offensive foul on the drive. Late call by the official here in front of the Cashmere bench. The foul on Brooks Elliott is his fourth. And Eastmont wants to take a timeout with a minute two to go. We're going to keep it right here. At 71-69, Levi High and none too happy with the officiating crew here on that call. Our broadcast tonight on the NCW Live Channel brought to you by Color Effects, offering screen printing, embroidery, digital printing, and logo design for your team, school, business, or church at a fair price. Locally owned for over 20 years, call Color Effects at 509-741-7609. Also by Global Car Care, a quality auto repair facility with highly trained technicians Celebrating 25 years in the car care business, they speak your car's language at 1840 North Wenatchee Avenue. Appreciate you joining us here on the NCW Life Channel. The timeout by Eastmont leaves the Wildcats with two foals. Cashmere, meanwhile, according to my book, has two foals and a 30. That is the scenario as we are down to just over a minute to play. Eastmont with the basketball, looking for a quality possession here as they lead it by two, 71-69. We've had four ties, four lead changes. Eastmont's largest lead was five here in the fourth quarter. Cashmere's largest lead was 14 in the second quarter. But Eastmont outscored Cashmere 22-11 in the third and leads it here by two as we tick-tock our way down in the fourth. Eastmont will come in with little pressure in the backcourt as Calvillo will take it with 58 on the game clock. Oscar Calvillo stops. Defense uh, by Landek comes. Feeds it off to Massey. Kalen dribbles a couple, then hands it off to Calvillo again. Bounce pass to Wellborn with 45 on the game clock. Wellborn spinning, shooting, making good. Four in the quarter for Wellborn. 73-69, Cashmere. Trails it by four. Drive by Phillips. Kick out to Nate for a three. It's no good. Rebound offensive. Put back by Elliott. It's no good. Rebound by Massey. Shot clock is off. 23 seconds left on the game clock. And a foul on the backcourt. Going to be called against Alberts. That'll be four on Alberts. How about this game tonight? Looked like Cashmere was going to put it away in the second quarter. But Eastmont came back after the break and just reeled them in slowly but surely. 
got the game tied at the end of three and now have a chance to put it away here with Tanner Nelson at the free throw line. First free throw, no good. 4 points for Nelson in the quarter. 14 of the ball game for Eastmont. Second free throw, good. 74-69. Two possession game with 18 seconds to go. Land deck cut off. Sam Phillips drive it. He'll kick it. Three pointer on the way. Rims won't fall. Boy, Kansas just could not find the range here in the second half from three point land. And now foul on the rebound. Going to be whistled here. Let's see who they're going to call it on. I think Haberlock will be the shooter. And the foul is on Mason Landeck. That's his second. Two free throws coming up for Trey Haberlock. Haberlock has five of the quarter, 18 of the ball game. Well, who do you choose as a MVP, if you will, in this one? Trey Haberlock was huge in that third quarter to help Eastmont close the gap. Yeah, one more free throw to come. 9.1 seconds to go and six points if he makes this game over. Timeout first, though, going to be taken by Levi Hyatt. Our broadcast tonight brought to you by One Way Construction. Premier Custom Home Builders and Construction Company for North Central Washington, including general contracting, framing, concrete, and consultation services online at onewayconstructionnw.com. Also by the Windmill, a time-tested restaurant providing traditional steakhouse meals and a homey old-fashioned dining room. Open seven days a week, 4.30 to 9 p.m. Call 509-665-9529. Appreciate you joining us here on the NCW Life Channel. We've got a busy sports schedule coming your way here this winter. Our live broadcast will continue with wrestling next Tuesday. We'll be at Wenatchee High School as the Panthers entertain Davis at 7 o'clock. Next Friday, we'll be at Wenatchee High for Ferris and Wenatchee, a doubleheader. 5.45, the girls tip it up. The boys follow at about 7.30. That's coming up next Friday here live on the NCW Life Channel. So for a team that won only four games a season ago, so close to winning their first here in their first attempt of the 2018-19 season. And Trey Haberlock has a chance to put the lock on this one with one more free throw. There it is. We're going to talk to Trey Haberlock after the ball game. We're going to try to get him anyway. Lob pass in the corner. Here's a three-pointer, and it's good! And a timeout going to be taken with 2.3 seconds left. Nice three down to the corner by Ty Schoening. That's his second three-pointer of the game. He's got six. And if nothing else, Gasman's going to fight to the last tick on that clock until the last breath. The timeout by Cashmere, and that leaves them with one. Again, Trey Haberlock will try to grab him here on our postgame show on the NCW Live channel. As Haberlock now with 5-7, he's got 20 in the ballgame to lead Eastmont along with the 22 by Isaac Wellborn. Wellborn got things started with three three-pointers nearly in a row in the first quarter. He had 11 points in the first quarter but then went quiet. Helped the cause definitely in the third as Eastmont again outscored Kashmir 22-11 in that third quarter as Wellborn scored at seven in the quarter and eight for Trey Haberlock as they were able to reel in the Bulldogs and tie it at the end of three at 56. And uh, now trying to express the will of the clock here and finish things up with a victory here tonight. 76-72 the score. After the timeout by Kashmir, Eastmont will have it in the backcourt, I'm sure, facing the press. Big wrestling tournament here tomorrow. All girls in the Lady Cat kickoff classic. First time ever. Inbounds pass comes in. The foul called with 1.6 seconds, and that'll be on Sam Phillips, and that'll be three on, on Sam. That starts tomorrow at 10, so if you want to take in some good girls wrestling, that's tomorrow at 10 o'clock right here at Eastmont High School. Over 100 girls from around the region will be here tomorrow for that wrestling tournament. 
Isaac Wellborn at the free throw line for two. First one on the way, good. So Wellborn will be the high scorer for Eastmont here in this one. We'll see if Trey Haberlock, we can get him here. Second free throw, no good. Rebound by Cashmere. Launch at the end of the buzzer will not fall. 77-72. Is the final. Eastmont moves to 1 0 on the season. Cashmere falls to 1 1 as Eastmont comes from behind to knock off Cashmere 77 72, the final. We'll take a break, get you ready for the postgame show. Coming up next, you're watching basketball tonight on the NCW Life Channel. Hi, I'm Kevin Prosser, and this is my print shop, Color Effects in Cashmere. Color Effects offers screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing on t-shirts, jerseys, bags, banners, signs, and more. With 30 years experience, you won't be disappointed with the quality and quick turnaround times you will get at more than a fair price. Please call Color FX. You don't want to see this happen. It's the oil light on your car. Oil is the lube of life for your car's engine. At Alignment Pros and Express Lube, they pour the best oil your car deserves. Expect fast, friendly, superior service in a clean environment. They'll change your oil and perform a 21-point inspection while you enjoy the comfort of their amazing waiting room. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube in East Wenatchee. When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you get 35 years of experience and customer service in the Wenatchee Valley. Dick's friendly staff strongly believe in repairing before replacing and service all major brands of HVAC units. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning is your local independent trained comfort specialists, proudly serving all of North Central Washington. Call 884-6444 today. Hey everyone, did you know that the NCW Life Channel is North Central Washington's go-to source for news? No matter how you prefer to view your news, NCW Life has you covered. Watch the evening news weeknights on TV, stream it, read it at ncwlife.com, or catch the latest news by following us on Facebook. Stay informed with local news, sports, weather, and shows featuring local people and events. NCW Life, a reflection and a spotlight of the communities we call home. Welcome back here on the postgame show on the NCW Life Channel as the East Mall Wildcats come from behind to knock off the Casimir Bulldogs by a final of 77-72. Trey Haberlock joining us here on the postgame show. Trey, you guys were down by 14 in that first half. You got a new head coach. What did he talk to you guys about at halftime? Um, we just need to pick up the intensity on defense. Uh, they were getting way too many threes. I think they had 10, 10 threes in the first half. Uh, Mason, number four, he was shooting lights out and you know, coaches said we need to lock him up so they don't win. Well, at halftime, you uh, trailed it just by uh, 11 points at halftime. Talk about that third quarter and your play in that third quarter. That was a big quarter for you guys to reel them back in and tie it at the end of the quarter. Yeah, well, I mean, it's the third quarter. You're right after halftime, you know, you got to go hard. Um, I know we all, we were all, like, wanting to win. So uh, we just came out, like, a lot of intensity, and, yeah, we won. So Tanner Nelson gets the jam at the end of the third to tie it up at 56. How much do you guys feed off of something like that? Oh, a lot, a lot. Dunks are, dang. I mean, you heard the crowd, they were crazy. Yeah, this is electric place tonight. You gotta, you gotta like how this starts off, yeah. huh? Yeah. Really so fun. tell me, as you, as you feed off of this one, you come back and you get the win. Uh, I, think, I think I had Isaac Wellborn with uh, 20 plus 22 points tonight as well. Um, who's who's going to be the, the guy for you on a night-to-night -night basis? Are you going to trade off on that? I know you got Preston Esparza who's going to come back eventually here. Uh, what do you expect and what can the fans expect from Eastmont this season? Uh, 
you know, I think they can expect all of us to score. You know, we have a really good team, really good kids coming off the bench. So really anybody could do that. It looked like you guys kind of stopped trying to rein it in from three-point land in that second half where you got more drives, you got more fouls and more chances at the free throw line. Was that kind of your guys' thought approach? Uh, <laughs> But you guys look like you're plenty happy to, to shoot from outside, that's yeah. for sure. I mean, we didn't really have a plan. It was just like, put the ball in the hoop and, yeah. Well, you guys did it and you got the win. Congratulations. Thank you. Trey Haberlock joining us here on the Post Game Show. We'll come back with more here at Eastmont High School after a 77-72 win by the Wildcats over the Bulldogs right after this on the NCW Life Channel. What's your automoca emergency? It's a Frapita Mocha with whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate for pita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the mocha for pitas. A peach Red Bull. Hey everyone, did you know that the NCW Life Channel is North Central Washington's go-to source for news? No matter how you prefer to view your news, NCW Life has you covered. Watch the evening news weeknights on TV, stream it, read it at ncwlife.com, or catch the latest news by following us on Facebook. Stay informed with local news, sports, weather, and shows featuring local people and events. NCW Life, a reflection and a spotlight of the communities we call home. So the Eastmont Wildcats erase a 14-point first-half deficit and reel in the Casper Bulldogs for the victory here tonight. 77-72, the final behind the 23 points of Isaac Wellborn, 20 points for Trey Haberlock. Thanks to Trey for joining us here on the postgame show as Eastmont gets off to a nice start for new head coach George Juarez with the win here tonight. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast. I want to thank Dan Koontz for being our line producer here tonight, to Caitlin Hedersheet back at the studios running all the dials, to Malcolm Whitehall and to Jessica Medina for running the cameras. I'm Eric Granstrom. Thanks for joining us for high school basketball tonight on the NCW Life Channel, where Eastmont comes from behind and beats Kashmir 77-72. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching High School Sports on the NCW Life Channel. Tonight's broadcast was brought to you by... Alignment Pros, Auto Mocha, Color FX, Global Car Care, One Way Construction, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Biosports Physical Therapy, and the Windmill Restaurant. This concludes today's coverage of high school sports on your home for local sports, the NCW Live Channel.